hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, you break your iPhone or iPod Touch um, with using Parnage Tool for firmware 2.2.1 and I think lower, besides 1.x. This will not work for iPod Touch 2G. I do have a video I'll put in the description how to break your iPod Touch 2G. As I will put videos, but I haven't made yet, but I will put them in the description for Quick Pawn for Mac and Windows. And it's just for Pawn's Tool right now. And Pawn's Tool is only for Mac. If you get a modified version for Windows, I do not know how that works at all, but this is mainly for Mac, and the application is mainly for Mac only, too. This is well unlocks only the original iPhone, not the 3G at the time. Yet. So what we're going to do is first click Expert Mode. Then click on your device. Mine is iPhone 3G. It's in a browser for IPSW. Now, if you do not have this already downloaded, like nothing comes up here, you're going to have to go on the website in the description I'm going to give you and download your device's um, firmware. To do that, first of all, iPhone 3G would be 1, comma 2, and then the firmware would be 2.2.1. For original iPhone, the first one would be 1, 2.2.1. 1, and for the first gen iPod, it would be 1, the iPod, 1, 2.2.1. 1, 2 .2 and for some reason, you didn't want a second gen iPod, it would be iPod, 2, 1, 2.2.1. 2 .2 so that's how you get your, um, get your firmware. You have to choose a firmware, then hit continue. Now you're going to hit general, double click it, and this option is only for iPhones, both of them. If you're using an actual SIM card, like AT&T, you can uncheck this. If you do not have a SIM card, you will check it. This will be how much you can install on it. I am just going to leave it how it is. This is only for original iPhones for unlocking. If you do not want to unlock, just uncheck them all, except for this one. Alright, this will be just packages that you want to be pre-installed on your iPhone or iPad Touch. Just download them and everything from right here. This is what's going to be installed, like CD Installer. You can uncheck them, but I suggest not unchecking them because it causes problems. This is basically custom boot logos. There's an app in Cydia that is way better than this but for some reason if you want it you can if you do not want it just uncheck it both and if you do want it you just check on it and hit browse you do have to download them though I don't want them though so then you're done what you can do is click build and hit go it's going to ask you where in your name mine's iPhone 3G 2.2.1 custom restore it's going to go to the desktop you can change it if you want you should save now, near the end of this process, it's going to ask you for your password. Just give it to it, and it'll be done. I'll be back. Alright, guys. And now, after that's done building, and you put in your password and all that, your custom PSW will be on your desktop. Then, after that, what you're going to do is... It should say, I have succeeded. Or something like that. I succeed. You're going to go to DFU. That's for not yet. I don't... That's right. Uh, you gotta get your device, plug it into your computer, and also, if you have Mac OS 10.5.6, DFU does not work. Update to the new version, and it will work again. Just keep that in mind, plug in your device, hit DFU, and it says to turn off the device. So we're going to turn it off. I suggest watching this part before actually doing it, so just go back after it. Prepare to home. Power home. So the instruction shows you the time in the left corner. Prepare to release power button. Release power button. Yeah, at first I didn't get it, not this. Successfully so DFU mode. Okay, so you hit OK, and then you don't need punish anymore. What you're going to do now is open up your iTunes. So your iPod's in recovery mode. Then what you're going to do is hit 
Well, if you're on a Mac, you have to hit, hit Alt, hit Restore. Then you're going to go to your desktop, but that's where you saved it, wherever you saved it. And hit the custom PSIW. Right here it is. So then you're going to hit Open. And it's going to extract and restore and all that. I'm not doing this right now. Don't hit Stop. Actually, you just let it restore and everything. Then after that, it will be all jailbroken. And if you want it to be unlocked, you will be unlocked too. Only for original iPhone. And please subscribe. I have a ton more videos coming out. And I'll see you guys later. And also, um, comment if you want to write and any suggestions. I'll be open to them. Send me a message or comment in the description down below.